what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel can y'all hit that like button for me it definitely sends an energetic donation my way this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't do not force it to fit your situation let's get right into this let's see what's going on with your person with the collective's person spirit ancestors and guides let's see what's going on with the collective's person at this time spirit Wow, the Emperor, the Three of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Okay, 11, 11, Four of Wands. You see how they're mirroring each other? That man is looking in the mirror and that woman is looking back at him. You two souls mirroring one another, right? This is your soulmate. This is your divine counterpart with this Emperor here, okay? But the thing is, this emperor is bored. Wherever he's at or whatever he's doing, this emperor is bored as fuck, okay? And it's like, they're just trying to pass the time, trying to pass the days. You know what I'm saying? But they know that there's more out there that they want. So they're they're keeping an eye on you. And the thing is, the two of wands is wanting to move away from something. The three of wands is making the decision on it. The four of wands is moving towards that happiness, right? And that's exactly what they're doing. Doing. I feel like this your person is stepping into their emperor energy. So I'm going to read this for the feminines because your person is coming out as the emperor, stepping into their emperor energy, you know, their divine energy, knowing that there's more out here there than what they've been experiencing. And the thing is, they're they're they feel that tie to you with the four of wands they feel your energy and you see in the three of wands he's at the desk looking bored and at the four of wands he's looking in the mirror like what the fuck do i want and it's you st staring back at him okay Let's see what's on the bottom of this the, the tower okay so something might have ended in this relationship okay everything motherfucking fell apart okay but this person your person could be going through a tower moment in their life all right where there's a lot of motherfucking changes going on in this person's life there could be a relationship that's coming to an end and with the full card they're ready to take that leap of faith they're ready to start anew look at um her she's sitting on the ledge wondering you know looking down like should i jump should i take that leap of faith and i feel like what this person is that there is a lot of things ending in this person's life that hasn't been fulfilling for them okay and this is there's you know they could have been dealing with somebody else and this person found out that they had somebody else okay there's just been some powerful changes that have happened whatever this other situation that they were dealing with that they've been bored in that they they just don't feel their self in that motherfucking relationship or whatever it was was built on a, a on a foundation that was not worthy of having a house built upon it anyway and that shit is blowing up in their face whatever they did that shit is blowing up in their motherfucking face and this person is ready to start to make take this leap of faith towards you to start have a new beginning to have this start with you their four of wands queen of wands energy confident beautiful knows exactly what the fuck she wants right but it's like you could be with the four of pentacles closed off to this person. Look at how like there's chains around the door. You might have a wall up when it comes to this person because of the things that they've done to you. You know, standing in your confident energy, right? Saying, nah, this shit is motherfucking over with, right? With the judgment card. Look at those. Um, why? Because they were sneaky. They were lying. They were manipulating you. Okay. And intuitively, you knew that you knew that they were so you could have ghosted them and left them out in the cold or they could have ghosted you okay but through that you had to find your strength okay but yeah so this person could be trying to come back towards you but the thing is it's like you could be mirroring what they did before where it's like they had a wall up they were closed off um, y'all, sorry, that's my chair. I need WD-40 where they were closed off. You know what I'm saying? Um, where they might've ghosted you in the past. 
now it's like you could be mirroring them like hell no you're full of trickery and deception i'm putting my wall up you know maybe this is over but the thing is they have they're they're ending something there's something that is ending in this person's life and the thing is they are stepping into this emperor energy and willing to take this leap of faith to come towards you their twin flame Clarify that tower card spirit. Let's clarify that tower card spirit. With the moon. Okay, so some secrets done came out. Okay, whatever this other situation that they're dealing with, um, some secrets motherfucking me came out. Okay, and... It's like, whether it be with this other person, they found out something about this other person or this other situation, or this person found out that they were dealing with you, it, it's all coming to a head right now, and shit is about to blow the fuck up. And that's what's making them say, look, I'm done with this situation, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move forward. Because there are a lot of secrets that are being kept here. What about this fool card, Spirit? The Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. So, yeah, this person was juggling you and somebody else, okay? They could have been juggling multiple priorities. But it's like, look at this this card. Look, he only got one pentacle. Like, he can only juggle one at a time, right? But, look, he has to drop that other pentacle in order to hold on to this pentacle here, right? So this person is knowing that they have to drop one of these motherfucking, these things that they are juggling in order to hold on to you, all right? And you're going to get some clarity on this, like either with the Ace of Swords that they have left that situation because it's clarifying the fool, you know, that they're ready to start new, that they want to have this beginning with you, that they're ending other situations, you know, they're done juggling, they want something with you and that's what they could be telling you, they could come in with communication about that. And I mean, it's clear communication about what they got going on. Can we get, what about this Emperor Spirit? With the Knight of Pentacles. So this person has had you waiting for quite some time to make a decision to figure out what they want. Yeah, with the Two of Swords and the Judgment card. The Two of Swords is somebody that's refusing to make a decision. They're not budging. Um, they're taking their time. But... Um, it come up in reverse, so it's like they're finally making their motherfucking decision and moving forward. They know that situation is dead. They have to balance out these hot and cold energies and end something else in order to have something with you, in order to step into this emperor energy. And the thing is, with the Knight of Pentacles, they've been planning this for quite some time, but they've also been taking their time doing it. So they've had you waiting on them to come towards you with this offer for, for quite some time. Let's see. The Three of Wands spirit. Can we clarify the Three of Wands? That's way too motherfucking many. But we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, this person, yeah, you're defensive as fuck when it comes to this person. Or this person has done put you thro through so motherfucking much. Okay, you could have been married to this person. Or this person could have been married to somebody else. Okay? And... They could have been lying, like, whether you were in a marriage situation with them or they were in a marriage situation with somebody else, they were lying. They were being really manipulative when it came to this situation, okay? Definitely could have had you in a third-party situation because you see with the rain here, she's sitting in front of these two swords. And she's carrying two swords. Yeah, that shit hurt. Somebody was lying within a marriage situation here. And so it made you really uh, put your guard up when it came to this person. Let's see, spirit. This four of wands. This soulmate energy, spirit. This four of wands. Let me clarify the four of wands, spirit, ancestors, and guides. The sun. Oh my, and the Empress at the bottom of the deck, you guys from a different deck, you got the Emperor and the Empress, divine counterparts, right? 
to clarify the four of wands, the sun, happiness. You are where their heart is. You are their happiness. You are their divine counterpart. And look, with the six of swords, they're ready to move towards you. They're coming towards you. They're on that ship. They got their ship packed. They're moving towards you, these calmer waters. <gasps> the four of fucking wands. They're moving towards their four of wands. I cannot make this shit up. My spirit guides are fire. What are they moving towards? That empress, that four of wands, moving on, moving fucking forward towards the person that they really, truly motherfucking love with the king of cups here? Hmm. Spirit. Wow. What else was going on? Love, look, love, adore, admire, enchantment. The love is there. There is no denying the connection that the two of you guys have. I'm sorry because these are weird. I don't know how these ended up like this, but I'm going to fix them. Um, There is no denying the love that the two of you guys share. And it's like they can run from it and you can run from it because of what they put you through. But it's like, I feel like your souls will always come back to each other here. It's like, it could be 10 years down the road and there could be something that just, you guys will constantly be like either the one that got away type situation. Sorry, I'm flipping these before I get another one. Okay, spirit, for the collective, what else do we got in this situation today? present now in the moment so spirit wants you to live for today don't just live in the moment not on what has happened in the past not as what has has gone forward this person loves you they <coughs> excuse me they want to live in the present moment they don't want to focus on the past they don't want to focus on the future let's just focus on us being in love and being together sold moving physical location change so like i told said this person could have moved away from somebody moved out of somebody's house literally moved into another like they could that's what they could be communicating that they moved out that they're moving somewhere else okay but it's like with soul, I feel like you also have this person's heart, the keys on there. You guys could be moving in together, okay? They could be coming and moving in with you. And it's really going to, your emotions are going to be all over the place when it when it comes to this. Because it's like, oh my God, it's exciting. But at the same time, you're scared. It's going to be so many waves of emotion. You will be up and down, okay? Um... Yeah, single in reverse. But there could be other, like I said, there was other people involved, okay? And this person could be asking questions on what they got going on, and they're telling this person that they're they're single uh, and denying that they are with you. And the thing is, it's because they're done. It's like this karmic energy could be searching, going online, looking for info and shit. But, and she's re going to be realizing that this is done. This is over with. Lesson learned. It's time to move fucking forward. is going on for the collective here in this reading spirit uh, so it's like literally you hear things on the radio you could be on your way to work you could be hearing like love songs that just really remind you of this person this person could hear songs reminding you of them like you guys could be sending links to one another of songs to watch you know um like, you know, lyric videos or whatever. Spirit come through. Look, proposal. 
they did like it's like literally they're in love with you and they can feel your energy like it's like they get goosebumps like keep an eye on them when they're really singing a song or they like a song it, they could either get goosebumps and it's like your energy they're feeling you your energy okay and they they want to propose to you they want a commitment to you they want something serious with you okay if you were married to them before it's like they want to renew this and bring this back okay but it's like you could feel like this person is just out for sex or a good time um, that they don't quite meet. Like, because they could be telling you, I moved out. I don't stay with this person anymore. You know, I'm moving out and, and coming to you and y'all are like getting intimate and all of that kind of stuff. But then you feel like they might be just lying because like they don't want to talk about the future. They just want to live for today in the moment. And it's like, so you could feel like they just want sex or a good time off of you. And it's causing, you know, a little bit of anxiety. But Spirit is saying, sold. You have their heart. Okay, shit, you own that shit. And I feel like you guys will be moving in together right now. It might seem like sex in a good time because of this other shit. But it's moving towards a proposal, towards something serious. Because this person loves you. They adore and admire you. And yeah, they don't want to talk about the past. And they don't want to talk about the future. Because it's like, I just want to live in the moment with you. The person I love that I've fucking missed so much time on. Bullshitting. Home foundation. I cannot make this shit up. You you guys are about to move in together. You about to get a home together. You guys, you are the fat like like didn't I say whatever this other shit is? There was no foundation. It was built on a foundation where a home shouldn't even have been. And then here you are. You are home to this person. You are where that home and that foundation because that literally says foundation. And I brought that up. You are where they want to build that foundation at. You are home. And there you like I said, you guys could be buying a home or moving in together very soon. But there is going to be this motherfucking, this other woman competition that's trying to motherfucking come in between y'all and make you feel like they fuck with them. This person is very, very jealous, okay? And you got faded meeting non-committal. Okay, so this person is like... This person, this karmic could be trying to meet up with you, okay? Figure out where you be at so they can meet up with your ass, all right? Or run into you. And they're going to realize that the reason why this other person is non, like your person is non-committal to them and doesn't want to beat with them and is telling them that it's over is because they're with you, their soulmate. This everlasting love, this true love. And so now this karmic is scared as fuck. We have afraid, fears. And why? It's because she knows she's finna go through this storm. Turmoil is ahead. DM ain't saying shit to her, ain't reaching out, no motherfucking contact. And yeah, and now this person, this karmic is gonna really regret this. And she needs to free herself and surrender to this. And seek safety and comfort during this motherfucking breakup. Because she's going to be hurting. Why? Because DM is going towards new love. He's taking a gamble. He's taking a risk because he misses you. He's thinking of you. You're his divine feminine. And he's finally being honest with himself. She needs to be honest with herself that maybe it's time to date and find somebody motherfucking new. on this situation for the collective spirit. This came out yesterday, didn't it? You are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. So this is like I'm saying, this could be you trying to put a wall up. It's like mirroring chaser runner aspect, like where they ran. Now it's like now you're putting that wall up and being like, I don't even know if I fucking want this. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you. I am guiding you. I'm protecting you during these changes. And I feel like that's for your person, okay? It's like spirit is urging them that this is the time to, to create new situations and move towards things for their own happiness. And Isaiah is watching and guiding and protecting this relationship, okay? Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assisted. 
assistance you deserve heaven's help and i feel like that's your person they've been praying for this trying to figure out what to do for quite a while and spirit has been sending them signs on what they should do you know really trying to push them into this direction spirit come through yes the timing is right for this new venture a happy outcome follows your positive expectations so this person is fucking they're looking up they have high hopes for this situation they know now is the time to make this move towards you Y'all, I need to really order some more of these romance angels. Look at them. I've used them for two years, and obviously they've been through hell, okay? Y'all, for the collective and this person, spirit, for the collective and this person. Codependency, okay? So that could be this other person, like they have somebody that's codependent on them, been codependent on them for quite some time. This person could have also had some, some issues, like with addictions and shit like that. It could be sex addictions uh drugs alcohol you know but it could have been this person just sitting look at her just sitting back waiting on this person to bring the bread and bring the money home you know somebody that was codependent and this person is realizing like they deserve better than that and that you deserve love so what are they doing it's like you deserve everything they should have given you from the beginning and here they come with this engagement with this proposal it doesn't necessarily have to be let's get married but there is going to be some kind of offer of commitment put out on the table towards you but you're going to be worried that they're being deceptive about releasing this ex and spirit wants you to let go of these like just allow this situation to unfold naturally okay because there could be children involved with this other person all right or whatever it is but this is the time for you guys to just stay quiet about the situation enjoy each other's time during this reconciliation of you two coming together because you don't want to start drama especially if there's kids this is how you guys will go about this in a harm harmonious way this could be you having kids with this person and you being worried that they they haven't released this person but like i said it's time to release those issues let it unfold naturally because it regardless if there's a family situation involved you want to do this the harmonious way right but there is somebody from your past returning okay all right that's what i have for you guys if that resonated at all comment below let me know until next time loves peace